Hello guys, today we have Riccardo Gatti, director of Corsi Rhino. Hello Riccardo, Hello. how are you doing? Hello, I'm good, I'm good. Nice to have you here. You so, can... Riccardo, tell us, uh, what does, what activity do you do in Corsi Rhino? Okay, um, here we are doing mainly, Corsi Rhino is for uh, training, it's based on Rhino software and we, we do a lot of training for both uh, university and, and uh, company. That's great, I mean, it sounds like you're, you're very expert in 3D modeling. I see here some amazing 3D printed stuff. What is this? This is some of the trial we did to, uh, to fix this uh, robotic hand because we had a lot of problem in uh, uh, storing all the, all the motors, all the, all the wire, and I tried to reduce the number of screws to the less to the less possible because the weight. This end should be very light and should be 3D printed. So there's a lot of uh, complexity in this kind of project. And the one of the uh, goal we want to achieve is to let the hand be able to grab to grab stuff. So uh, this is something we. Uh, we try it and because of this we have a composite finger, you see some of the pieces here, uh, they go together and they, they move and because of this we have, uh, we have four motors, uh, each motor is able to, it's able to uh, move one of the finger and then there's a fifth motor outside to move also the, also the, the big thumb. What is one of the biggest challenge when you design such a, a, a complex thing? Yeah, the the first big biggest challenge is to really perceive the the real dimension of what you are doing, because you know when you have the screen, you are looking at the on a ring for for thumbs, or you're looking at a building, and everything it it fit the screen, so you don't really perceive how much. How much would be in the in the real? No. How was using virtual reality um, to improve your process, your design process? Yeah, the fact to be able to see the product uh, as a real, real dimension to perceive the real dimension of the product before printing it and in real time because you you pass from the CAD information to the to the uh, headset. Directly, yeah, it's like an entanglement between yeah. VR and CAD. Exactly, this will reduce a lot the the development time for for the design and let you to check uh, the both aspect, the technical aspect, because you can you can ride inside the product and see, for example, uh, if you have something that has to to connect, you can see if the all the uh, the fixtures are correct, but let also to perceive the object like it will be the real. Of course, this is the big challenge for MindDesk. Thank you very much. My and pleasure. See you next time. Please you. subscribe to our channel and have a great day. Bye.